Hey everybody, Steve here with White Knuckle Off-Road Adventures. Hey, sorry it's been a little while since we've done any kind of videos or anything like that. We've been really busy. We're building a new house and uh, just haven't had a chance to do anything lately. Um, we have done a lot of things to our 2021 Players General. We'll uh, get some videos up of that hopefully pretty soon. Uh, of a lot of the upgrades and some things we've added to it. Um, but today we're just doing a quick review on two tires. One of them is a brand new from Tusk and the other tire has been around for a while. It is the CST Stag made by Maxxis or Maxxis makes them or they make Maxxis or something. Um, anyway this is the brand new Megabyte from Tusk. It is a 27914 and an 8 ply radial and the Stag we have is a 28914 six ply radial and I measured these just a minute ago and I don't know if you can tell right there or not probably can this 27 inch tusk with the tape measure is right about 24 and a quarter and the stag tire measured I think 26 and a half almost 27 um, they're not mounted on anything of course so that's going to change uh, your air pressure the width of your wheels, all that kind of stuff is going to make a difference on the height and your air pressure is going to make a big difference on your height too once they're mounted up. The Tusk tire looks like a pretty flat profile here, but everything I've seen on these tires when they're mounted, they do round out more so it is going to puff that tire up. So I don't know who does tire measuring, but when you order a 27 inch tall tire, I'd expect it to be 27 inch tall when I get it at the house, none of them are. Even my 28 Stag is closer than this one is, but it's still off of what it says too. So anyway, we'll see what they do once they're mounted up on a machine and go from there. We're gonna run, this tire is gonna take the place of my GBC Dirt Commanders that I'm running in 27s, just like these are, and they're an eight ply. GBCs are bias ply tire, the Tusk tires are radial. And these stag tires are going to take the place of my bighorns, not the 2.0s, it's the regular bighorn. And uh, we're gonna see what we end up liking. I've got two sets of wheels. We're gonna pull those tires off and swap these ones onto them. And we're gonna be selling the Dirt Commanders and the bighorns. Um, lately, I have had three sidewall punctures two of them have been on brand new tires on my maxis bighorns i run about five to five and a half pounds of air in them i always have for years i've never had any problems until lately so i know stag is cst owns maxis or maxis owns cst or whatever it is but it's the same company they make the same tire it's on the same carcass <laughs> Um, I found some guys online that said the sidewall feels stronger than it does on the Bighorn. And when I got them here, now they're not, haven't been mounted or done anything with, but they do feel like they're a little bit better sidewall maybe. Like they're just a, they definitely feel stiffer and more rigid than my Bighorn did. So we'll see when we get these mounted. If any of you guys have run these tires, um, we're going to be running them as an all-season. I'm um, really interested to see how they do in the snow compared to my Bighorn, which unless you're running a really aggressive uh, directional style tire, the Bighorns on all of our machines seem to perform really well. They've been an amazing tire, so just had a, I don't know if it's just a string of bad luck lately with blowing out so many sidewalls and having so many problems. We went on a ride just a week ago. I ripped a sidewall on one of my back tires and my buddy Terry ripped uh, the front on one of his sidewalls. So we're going to give these a try and see what we like. The rubber compound on both these tires is supposed to be a softer compound. Now this Megabyte's not a sticky compound i don't think it's going to be the greatest for like moab type use or anything like that but loose dirt some mud um things like that it's going to be a really nice i think well it'd be interesting to see how it does in the snow compared to the stag tire and we've still got rise guys running the uh, big horns but the website and in the pictures 
does not do this tire justice at all. It's the sidewall's really good looking and the tread is really nice and it, it seems, I don't know if you guys can see that, but that tread moves pretty decent, so they feel pretty good. And same with the stag tire, that tread is, you can squish that in. You guys can see that. Um, so it'll be really interesting to see how well they both do. Can't wait to get them on a machine and check them out. Uh, we're probably going to run the Tusk Megabytes um, probably around four, maybe four and a half pounds air in them since they are an eight ply. And they're going on an 850 Sportsman uh, 2019. So probably roughly an 800 pound four wheeler. And we're going to run the stag tires at probably five and a half, maybe six. We'll see. We might bump them down just a little bit back down to five. Uh, once we get these things all mounted up, we'll do another video. The megabytes are going to be taking the place of some 27 inch, exact same size. They're 27 914 front and 27 11 14 rear GBC Dirt Commanders. They're still like brand new. I've ran them one winter and part of a summer. And we're going to go pull them out of storage and we're going to throw the megabytes on those wheels and we're going to be selling the GBC Dirt Commanders. <clears throat> and the stag tires are going to take the place of. A set of 26 914 and 26 11 14 Maxis Bighorns, not the 2.0s. We're going to swap these 28s onto that set of wheels, and we'll probably be selling the Bighorns too. And they're, I think they've got like 300 miles on them. Uh, we'll be getting rid of both those sets, and we're going to change to these two sets. If it all works out good, we're going to try to run them this winter. We're for sure going to run the Stag this winter. I've got to see where my commanders are inside my storage unit that we're we're doing like the way we're building the house so i've got everything all over the place we're living at my daughter-in-law's or sorry my daughter's house my son-in-law so hopefully i will get a chance to run these mega bikes this winter and uh, we'll see how they perform and how they do in the snow i don't know if it'll be the greatest snow tire but man it sure looks good and stag definitely reminds me of a bighorn and uh, we'll see how that goes there's also another tire out there for you guys if you're looking for just a snow tire it's called the uh, traction glacier i haven't seen one in person uh the guy that built it this tire the cst and the maxis bighorn were two of his favorites type of snow tires until he designed this new one and it looks like a pretty nice tire um i'd be more interested in running it but it is not recommended for anything other than snow. Uh, you can run it over a little bit of hard pack and stuff while you're getting from one place to the next. But Canada, they get what, probably six months out of the year of snow. Utah, we got three, four months maybe that we can actually run the machines in. <clears throat> Sorry, so I decided to go with the stag instead of the uh, traction glaciers. You guys will have to get online and check those out. And uh, thanks to everybody that uh, likes and subscribes and comments. If you guys are out there, please like and subscribe. It helps us out. It's going to help us out trying to get more video out. And uh, like I say, we'll get back with you on the uh, 2021 general, and we'll let you know, guys know what we've done to that, and we've done a lot of changes to it. And we'll get back with you. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all the likes and comments and all you guys that subscribe. You just have to push a button. It's super awesome. It helps us out. We're going to try to come out with some shirts and jackets and a couple things, and uh, we'll see what we can come up with. Uh, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye.